I'm making mm. classic fettuccine Alfredo. Classic. Classic. So I got my water boiling. Katie, I need you to grate like a lot. Okay. All right, we need at least three quarters of a cup up to a cup of that parm. Fresh grated Parmigiano Reggiano and of course cream, which I'm gonna do because that's what we're all used to. We're gonna start with one cup of heavy cream. Mm -hmm. We're gonna turn on our heat now, nice and gently. To this, we're gonna add two tablespoons of butter. And we're gonna let this reduce, concentrating that beautiful dairy fat, that creamy double, double flavor. Dairy. Double dairy. Right? Double dairy. Double dairy. Double dairy. And that's that's key in this. And what we're left with after we let that simmer almost by half and reduce is this really concentrated, beautiful flavor. Now we can kind of bump up the liquidity of it, if you will, with extra heavy whipping cream. And we're gonna flavor that with just a little bit. I got it on low. Right now I'm gonna drop that fresh fettuccine. This is when you wanna go to that refrigerated section. Mm -hmm. Get the good stuff. It really does need that fresh, eggy pasta to Quick make it a meal. night dinner that feels really special. Exactly. I like and how indulgent. you say eggs. Eggs, I know. Eggy. I gotta this stop great, that. This is a great pasta, actually. We, we've done this in a lot of my restaurants. It's easy to do table side. Yeah. yeah. Uh, right? It comes it's, together and really it's quick. so like, oh my God, that looks good. And every Instagrammer has seen this done either in a, a big vat of Parmesan or on the plate. Yeah. It's great. It's great. We reduced it a little bit. I'm gonna add a little bit more cream just to kind of loosen it up. Because this is another problem with this dish, if you've ever ordered it. Yeah. It, it, it goes from the kitchen to the table and it congeals like in that moment. It can get gloppy. Moment. It can yeah. get gloppy. I'm just gonna get a little little nutmeg. Okay. Right, just a little bit, right? Almost got that bechamel vibe. Mm -hmm. A little stir. We can taste it. But you don't want this too thick, right? You don't want it too thin, but the starchy pasta water's gonna help thicken it even more. What I'm gonna do now is take my ladle. I also like this sauce with the tortellini. Yes. Like throwing some peas. So good. Mm -hmm. yeah. What? This is Jeffrey's what? meal here, right here. We're gonna take some of that hot boiling pasta water and warm up our bowls oh. right before service because like, what, are you doing? what this does is help. It's an anti-congealing uh, effort here. That's right? a good tip. Well, I'm and it warms the bowls so fast, and it'll keep so it have to worry about creamier that. longer. And what this is doing is just kind of taking on that heat. No need to microwave them or put them in the oven. We got enough. A minute right there. Cheese. Booms. In there. Right in there. Let's test our pasta here. See how we're doing. Yeah, Dude, right? that's a beauty. This is yeah. not your, your mama's dried pasta. It goes from... How dare you? <laughs> Dumb. Treat no yourself mama. to some uh, fresh pasta, right? Uh, yeah, fresh pasta. I mean... Unbelievable. All right. Might as well. Before I start mixing all that cheese in, I'm just gonna get this going. Katie, can you please start dumping? Yep. Start dumping. <laughs> Thought you'd never ask. <laughs> I love it too because you can go a little bit light on the cooking of the pasta and just let it sit in the sauce. Yeah. Just come and in you, and you, shut. Yep. You get all that starchy water if you need it to get too thick, right? Mm -hmm. You just throw a little of it in there. It's a, it's, a oh. it's basic, but it's the way you cook pasta. Yeah. It's just the way you do it. Now you see, right? You're like, that's too loose for Alfredo. Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. Take it off the heat, put it in a bowl, and it's gonna tighten up very quickly. Here we go, look at that, right? Love Ready to go, shit. it's steaming, it's smoking. Do you want me to cheese while you plate? Please do, Katie, look at Look see. at that, I see little... Time is of essence right now, guys. Are those There's nutmeg an old saying, flex? you always wanna have your guests... Pepper, pepper guess. and nutmeg okay. flex. Your Please. guests wait for the pasta, the pasta doesn't wait for your guests. That's mm -hmm. right, Jen, Jeezy, that's right. So you are mm. sitting down at the mm -hmm. table, waiting for, like we are. Let's go. Mmm. Mmm, 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 getting the perfect yeah, bite going. Mm -hmm. Look at that. My sophisticated bite. Mm -hmm. Way smaller than my at-home bite. Ooh. Okay, Jeff. Oh. Ooh. Mm. Mm -hmm. You know, it's really, we watch you make this dish with all the cream, but it's actually the nutmeg and the Parmesan cheese and the pepper that really brings us life. The Parmesan cheese is almost tangy. It's almost mm -hmm. nutty and tangy here. Mm -hmm. This just mm. this tastes exactly how I want it to taste. Mm. And, and you know what? We have a big expectation for a simple dish like this. Mm. This just delivers. It's like, Does, mac, mm. it's like a mac and cheese put a tuxedo on. This yeah, is exactly. the best fettuccine Alfredo I've ever had. Oh it's my really, God. Really